speak louder? Is that better? Is that better, guys? Kim, can you hear me better? Better? <laughs> okay, so I've started the recording. Um, this is a project that I'm going to be doing for Genus Designs. And uh, we're going to be continuing with the whole birthday theme we've been doing all month. Um, we're going to be making a little birthday box. Let me show you how to make the candle too. And the little chocolate swirls. Um, let me just go over a few things and then we'll get started. A little bit of business. Okay, so I wanted to let you know that there's a blog hop going on uh, for Genus Designs, um, and it lasts until next Friday. Thanks, Bunny. <laughs> It'll last till next Friday, and there's some really good giveaways. You should all go check it out. And this is going to be my last class on Ustream. I'm going to move over to YouTube doing live classes on Genus Genus Designs um, YouTube class. Uh, there's no commercials. And it's supposed to be easier to work with. So we're going to give that a try. I'm going to keep this up, but we're going to try the YouTube this time or next time. And our Facebook Genus Designs Craft Group. If you, jo it's a free thing to join. And there's all kinds of challenges and giveaways going on throughout the month for uh, Gina's third birthday. So you might want to go check that out. Just ask to join and one of the moderators will add you. And at the end of the class, they'll be given a 10% discount code that you can use to get 10% off of your purchase uh, in Gina's store. So that'll be given at the end of the class. And I also have some things I'm going to be giving away. Some of the birthday shape sets and I have, let me find it, I have this that I had made, let's see if I can, a little cupcake, birthday cupcake. So I'm going to be giving one of these away. Uh, I have an unfinished one. So this will be a giveaway and then a couple sets of the birthday shape sets. So we'll be doing that. And I think that's everything. I don't think I forgot anything. Oh, that's it. I'll go over it again before class is over, just in case I did. <laughs> so this is something that I made using the box, but made it just a little larger. Um, just kind of got to eye it and like stretch it out a little bit. It was cut out on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and it makes it a really cute centerpiece. Just... So we got a nice little centerpiece and the shape sets and the happy birthday are from the shape, uh, the birthday shape set. And we get little curly cues. So I've got that, and I made a cake stand to go with it. The cake stand is uh, cardboard, and I used one of Gina's pedestals. Uh, the pedestal is not in the store yet, but it will be shortly. Let me just grab that real quick. I had everything next to me. <laughs> So, this is the pedestal. It's three pieces. So, it's easy assembly. And then the top piece will just go on. Oops, like that. And I tipped it upside down and used it this way to give it more stability because I glued it onto the bottom. Oops, 
can see that. So that's how I made my pedestal for the cake. And I added one of Gina's doilies, cream doily. So that is my little centerpiece. I'm going to show you how to make the curly cues too. All right, let me just bring this down a little bit. This is what we're going to be making in class. I have to readjust my camera. Oops. Sorry, guys. There we go. So we're going to make a slice of cake. It's a little favor box. And I'm going to show you how to make the little candle, too, and the little chocolate shavings. So that's that. Yeah, let me just check this real fast. Okay. <clears throat> So the first thing we're going to do is cut out our box. Um, I've cut out several different colors. I'm going to go with white because I'm going to do a little bumblebee theme. And you want to use your ruler. If you have a scoreboard, you can use that. I'm going to use a ruler and a stylus and a bone folder. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> So the first thing you're going to do is score all your lines. The hardest part is starting. <laughs> you're just going to go corner to corner. I wish I could bring this closer. Like this. And it'll just fold up. This is pretty thick cardstock that I'm using. And then we'll do that on this piece. If you print out the one that's on the Facebook group, um, it has the dotted lines so you can see where to to do that, to do your scoring. It should be faint though, it shouldn't be real dark. And then And then cut a piece here. I think this is the piece I had to cut a little bit off of. So let me just fold that up real quick and check it. Um, you might want to take your bone folder as well and go ahead and crease your all your score lines. I had to cut off a little bit. So let's go ahead and score it. Fold it up. Give a little full bone fold. And then Oh, I'm like, why is that not working? <laughs> I forgot to do one. <laughs> All right. See, this is the part where, see how it kind of gathers right there a little bit? That's a spot where you might you want to cut it down a little bit. Let me just poke. See, this piece will go like this. No glue, flat. And then this piece goes on the inside. You see, it's, it's a little too wide. So we're just going to trim that off. Uh, I don't have a measurement. I'm just going to 
well, if I find my scissors, I'm just going to trim it. Just going to eyeball it. <laughs> Cutting it down. Like that. I'm trying to remember if I cut the other part too. Give me just a second. Yeah. So we're going to cut in a little bit to the, like that. We're just going to cut the corner off. And then it'll glue together really easy. You know what? I think I cut mine wrong. Huh. Why is that happening? So strange. I cut mine out on my machine and I think maybe it resized on me. Oh dear. <laughs> That's not good. All right, let me just play with this for a minute. Oh. Kimmy, I hope you're feeling better. So. I'm going to have to go in on mine a little bit. Well, this is a bummer. Let's see. Just take it in a tad, see what happens. <laughs> I don't even have a printer to print another one out. <laughs> it's all good. We'll make it work. We'll just not pay attention to the part that doesn't stick. But you want yours to go together. Alright, so I'm just going to get some score tape. And you can use glue, hot glue, whatever you want. I'm just using a piece of score tape. It's very sticky. So I'm just, I just put that on the little tip here. I'm really bummed out this is the wrong size. <laughs> and we're just going to fold it over. And fold it down. And then we have the little insert piece here. So it just kind of goes on the inside. We'll fold over. Um, I might be able to fix this. Let's see. It's like way off. Shoot. All right. So you're just going to add a piece of tape or glue down the other flap. You're going to craft happens. <laughs> I got this. No worries. <laughs> We're just going to ignore it. I'll stick a flower there. <laughs> Isn't that what flowers are for? <laughs> So I'm just going to line it up for the top here as much as I can. <laughs> Got to score these. These will fold over. You'll want to score them. And then this piece folds over. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to line up, so, <laughs> yeah, that's not lined up. Oh, there it goes. Huh, it did line up. Okay. And then it closes like that. So you got a little pie. Like that. And that's what this started as. A little piece of pie. Or cake, I'm sorry. Get pie on the brain, cherry pie, yum. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Um, hopefully your lines matched up better than mine did. But it's not too bad. It's just a little wopsy. It's got a little, little line there. Not too, too bad. All right, I'm just going to put it on the bottom and pretend like it's not there. <laughs> 
That's all. Oops. <clears throat> okay, so next thing I'm going to show you how to do is the candle. How I made my little candle. So you'll need a skewer or some little skinny wooden something or metal. And a piece of a strip of paper. This is um, from an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. It is two and a half inches wide. So two and a half inches. And I like to take my bone folder and I just curl it to get so it'll be, you know, manipulating the fibers. So they'll start curling for me because you got to curl it around this little piece. So just wrap that. The hardest part's getting it started. <laughs> I would say tape it on, but you want to pull this back out so that your flame will have a place to go. doesn't sound very good, does it? <laughs> so you can see I started rolling. And you can make it as wide as you want. I think I used the whole piece on mine. So I wanted a fat candle. Okay, then we're going to roll it up. This one's a little shorter than my other ones because I, I thought it was just a little too big. And then we're going to take some glue. I'm going to use hot glue and just glue the edge. Um, this part, gluing this down. Just going to hold that there for a second. Then you can take your skewer out, flatten it out, and see now you got a nice little uh, rolled piece of paper with a hole in the middle. So make sure it stands. I'm going to add a piece of cream paper, a uh, strip. I cut a bunch of strips because I was going to show you how to make the uh, the curly cues too. I think I'll use. The cream. And we're just going to wrap that around so it looks like a, a wrapped candle. Just going to do the bone folder again. And then I pick a spot on the back and just put a dot of glue. <clears throat> Oh, great. My neighbors use, can you guys hear that? <laughs> oh, my neighbor's got his tractor going. <laughs> uh, winner of the shape set giveaway is, drum roll, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna glue this in place. Give these a little beacons or um, Scott's quick dry. I don't want to burn my finger. <laughs> Hold it in place for a minute. Bunny C. Congrats, Bunny C. You are a winner of the birthday shape set. Yay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut that piece off. So now we've got a spiraled candle. It's yellow and cream. I'm 
and we're just going to cut a little piece of, I have this paper, it's got glitter on it, it's a yellowy gold color. I'm just going to cut a little piece. Um, that's actually too big. <laughs> Fold it over so I can cut it twice. And then I'm just going to cut like a, kind of like a flame shape. A teardrop. So you'll have two, it'll be the same on both sides. It's kind of small. And then I'm just going to glue it together. So it'll stay together. Oops. Okay. Then we've got our flame. And that just sits down inside. I'm really not liking how this candle's looking. I think I need to do it over. Hmm. I guess it's okay. I think I like the long one better. So here's this what I'm talking about, the difference in the length. It's not off by much, but it's a little off and it's a little wider. So we'll just go with it. But if you want to make it the like my original one, let's see, the size is three inches. So it's half an inch larger than when I did this one. Then you're just going to put a little glue on either side of the long little piece. Ugh. Look at that. Come on. Ugh. I, think I need to refill the glue. And then we're just going to put it down inside. And it'll touch and it'll dry like a little candle. So there's that. So we're just going to set that aside and let it dry, and then we're going to make the flower. Whoops, it moved on me. <laughs> Let's try this again. All right, so for the flower part, make sure my glue is down. Let me just clean this up a little bit so I have room to work. You're going to need I did, I cut out little teardrop shapes. Um, you can use any kind of petal or cut your own petals out even. And I use some circles just with my, uh, my punch. Um, not sure what size this punch is. It doesn't say. It's a Fiskars circle punch. Let me see. It is an inch and a half, inch and a half circle. And then we're just going to start manipulating, kind of bending it, and do whatever you want with it. Give it a little fold in. And then just start gluing around the circle. Sorry about that, guys. And this is just making a base for the candle to sit on. Okay, 
So we got that. We're going to set that one aside and let it dry for a few minutes. See, it's pretty ugly right now, but it'll be cuter. <laughs> and then we're going to do that with a smaller circle. This is an inch and an eighth. And a smaller petal. But you can use a heart and cut the heart in half. And you, you could do it that way. So we're going to glue around. And we'll just let that dry for a few. And then I did also did a green um, for the leaf base. So we'll do the exact same thing. Bring it out as far as you can so that the leaves will stick out a little further. do five. They don't have to be completely touching like the flower petals. There's that. That looks green to you. It's a green shade. <laughs> so move this out of the way. And then we're going to assemble with uh, some spacers in between. I'm going to use some little chipboard rounds. Let's get these out. Just a couple of circles. You can use um, the little foam squares. Whatever you have. I'm going to start with the bottom piece. It's dry enough. I'm just going to kind of pinch just to give it a little dimension. Like that. And do the same thing for the flowers. So I'm just pinching it and gathering in the center. And then I'm going to add um, a spacer. Use my hot glue so it'll set up faster. Attach the largest yellow. Kind of offset your petals if you can. It's hot. <laughs> So there's the two layers together. And then we're going to do the same thing. Um, another round for spacer. Just going to hold that for a second. And then we're going to take our smaller one and go ahead and pinch, pinch it to give it a little definition. Um, you can ink your edges if you want. On my other one, I inked the edges with uh, frayed burlap, distress ink. And then a little bit of hot glue. Like that. Just going to let that set for a minute. And there's our flower. It's got lots of layers. And then the candle is going to go right in the center. Like this. Like that. 
So we're going to take a little piece of just a scrap piece of paper. I'm just going to use this gold because it's what I have here. I'm going to cut a strip so it'll fit into the circle, the bottom piece of your candle. Just going to fold it over in half. Oops, I keep losing you. I'm going to fold it in half, well, kind of in half, and then back up on itself. Well, that piece isn't long enough. Let me try a bigger piece. <laughs> Wasn't feeling that piece. Okay, fold it in half. And then we're going to stick it inside, like so. You want it a little tight so it'll stay. This is going to give you extra support. Mine might be a little too wide. Just cut it down a little bit. Let's see. It's going to go in there like that. So I'm going to take some hot glue. You can use um, whatever glue you are using. I'm just going to use the hot glue. I don't think it'll be an issue. Stick it down in there a little bit, about a half an inch down inside. And then we're going to take more glue and put it here and here. Like that. And then we're going to, where we fold it in half, we're just going to fold it over without burning ourselves. <laughs> I used um, the quick dry glue for this on my other one because I had more time for it to sit. So we're just going to hold that in place till it sets up. This is just going to give you extra support for your, your candle so it doesn't fall off. Like that. Glue all over my fingers. <laughs> Sorry about that. So now it'll sit. Well, once it's glued on there, it will. And I'm just going to fold it in on itself again just to make it a little thicker and glue it. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can just glue it directly on. And my little piece came out. Because I didn't put enough glue in there. Just gonna cut it down a little bit. I don't want it to stick out too far. So it's just like a mess in the bottom. <laughs> then you're just gonna use this to glue it into the center of your flower, like this. Okay? And then I'll glue my little centerpiece back in. My flame burned out. <laughs> Some hot glue. This I'm going to hold until it dries. Really sets up good. <clears throat> Any questions, guys? Okay. Now I'm going to use the hot glue to glue my little flame back in. There's what we have so far, a little candle. And you can see some of it's exposed, um, the extra piece I had. So I have some extra leaves. Uh, let me find my little tiny punch. I forgot to pull it out. I guess I can use the larger one. Um, take a few extra leaves that you have. Just bring these back. 
And what I did was I took a circle. Well, never mind, I can't do that with this one. Just cut a little bit of it off. Kind of scalloped a little bit like that. <laughs> and then that'll just get glued on to hide the, the glue in the pieces. Thank you. So you'll need a couple of those. I'll do three because, you know, I just, I can't do even numbers. It drives me crazy. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the piece I did because that fit really well and use that as my guide to cut the other two. Pinch them up a little bit so they have a little bit of shape again. And this time I'm going to be a little more careful with the glue where I put it. As I say that, I get it too far. <laughs> Just gluing it down. You know, I might have to use an uh, even number. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. Welcome to the class. Yep, I am going to have to do one more circle. Cut a little bit off the of, um, circle or um, the bottom a little bit, like a crest shape. And glue that into the last spot and hold it in place for a moment. So my glue sets up. And that should do it. There we go. One candle with a flower. <laughs> and that'll fit on top of our piece of cake, our cake box. Yeah. And then um, the I added little chocolate curls on this one. So I'm going to show you how I did that too. Uh, let's see, where are, so you just want to cut little strips that are like a quarter of an inch. Mine are yellow, cream, and gold. And I've already got some done here. <laughs> um, what you need to do, I take several, just grab, I don't know, three or four of them. It doesn't matter. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, and then I just take my bone folder and just pull it until they curl. Keep going. Takes a few times. And then you turn it around the other direction even and do it. And of course, it's not curling as good as my other ones. Hmm. That. You could take your scissors as well, carefully. Give it a little more curl. Oops. It's a little better. Just kind of give them a little twist, a little curls. So we're going to put those together. Take this out of the way. Sorry guys, I had to take a drink. <laughs> and then you're just going to pull like one of each color. I have three. Um, let me just cut off this lettering. Don't want that showing. Like this. And you can glue them or staple them. 
I'm going to staple it just in the center. I'm going to piece it together. And hopefully I have enough staples to do this one. Just staple the edges. And then you can just twist as much as you need. Wraps around my finger. <laughs> And there we got our little shavings. Pull up. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> um, and then we'll glue those in place and with our little, our little bow or um, our little candle, just in between the the bottom leaves and the first petals of the flower. Just kind of. Stuff it in there with some glue. Let's set for a minute. Don't want to burn myself. Here's one. Take another one. Oh, they're all sticking together now. <laughs> all right. Fold them in half. You can either tape them or glue them or staple. I'm gonna be, I'll also show you what I did for the centerpiece, how I put them together. This little staple. Got our little poof. Put that on the other side or off a little bit. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put this little gathering. Here. Yeah. So a little bit more glue. And let's see if I can get that in there. Trying to hide the staple. <laughs> okay, and that'll go on like that onto your box. Like so. And it would look like this. Now for the centerpiece, um, we'll just for the centerpiece, I used um, little stakes, little um, craft or um, little metal picks. Let me just grab some. See, that's done on. It's for florist. It's a floral pick. That way I could stick it down into the foam. It's very, very sharp. So that's what I used for the centerpiece. So that's that. Okay, so we got the top. Now let's see. Can't just leave it white. <laughs> I'm gonna add some ribbon. I happen to have Lots of yellow and black ribbons. Let's see what we got here. Oh, they would be really cute for a baby shower. Sure. Mm. I really like this really fat yellow satin. Oh my, that's cute. I have enough. All right, so I'm going to take the bow off, or the, um, why do I keep calling that a bow? <laughs> the candle off. <laughs> We're going to wrap that around, I think. A bit centered. 
and then tie a bow in the back. Do you like that? What do you guys think? We have this too. Or that can make a cute bow in the back. I also have Rick Rack. And some yellow Rick Rack would be cute. I don't know which one to use. Hmm. What do you guys think? Should I go with the satin, the Rick Rack, or the plaid? I like them all. <laughs> So I'm going to run a piece of tape, square tape, layer them, okay, okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to run square tape down the center, you guys can see this. Well, kind of the center, it'll be covered, so <laughs> try to center yours. <laughs> that off. Maybe just the plaid. Mm. Can't decide. All right, I'm just going to I'm going to layer it. I'll use both. <laughs> so we'll take our satin Hello, that I've got all curled up now. <laughs> and I'm going to stand up for a minute so I can make sure I'm getting this centered on both sides. Can you guys see? Gonna leave a little bit on both sides. Then we cut that off. Oof, these are not good scissors to cut ribbon with. <laughs> I don't think these are either. Ugh. All right. So that's one layer. A little tie in the back, just in a little knot. Let me sit back down. <laughs> okay, we're just going to tie this. See what it looks like. Tied. I think that'll work. Just pour together. All right, let me get this out of the way. I am totally out of room here. <laughs> that. And then we're going to take this one and run it down the center of the satin. Like that. So we'll need more score tape. Or you can use glue. Um, I didn't because I didn't know if it would show through the satin or not. So this time I'm going to be more careful and get it actually in the center of the satin ribbon. Like that. Let's cut that off. Hello. <laughs> so make sure that's on there good before I pull it up. Oops. Fabric tack would work good with this too. All right. Now we're going to take our little plaid one like by the end. Down the center of it. Okay. 
Oh, hi, Miko. How are you? <laughs> Hello. Cut that off. All right. So this is a little off. Pull it up. That's better. Okay, so there's our side. And we've got this on the back. That we could tie in a knot and leave it or we think for a second. And this will go on top. That. I think just tying it. With some black tool. Let's try to see if it looks right. Just a little bit of black tool. Hmm. And then I'm just going to cut them all down short, just gather them all together. That'll be the back. That. So I think I like that. So that's that. Uh, I don't know if I like that. I don't think I like that sticking up. <laughs> Let's try putting it on the bottom. Oh, that's better. Okay. That looks better on the bottom. <laughs> so that'll be our back. And then we'll glue our candle on top. Like that. Have a drink. And then I'm just going to glue my candle on top. Some hot glue. Oops, I have much left. Just gonna hold that in place for a second. And there we go. Little yellow and black one and cream to go with our pink one. Oops. Now, if you don't want to make your own flower, you can just use. Um, uh, just store-bought flowers would work. 
or you don't have to use a flower at all if you want to do a cute little boy one um, you could just do the candle and maybe a, um, just the curly cues around it that would be really cute How are we doing on time, guys? Oh. Okay, we've been on for an hour. Um, Mary, do you want to go ahead and give away my my um, cupcake? my cupcake. You there, Mary? <laughs> sure, okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, so Mary's going to draw the name. Oh, thank you. Thanks. They were fun to make. You, Miko, you didn't see my centerpiece one. Let me show you. Uh, it's a little bigger. It's kind of hard to show the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it's really big. <laughs> so it looks like it's a slice of cake as well. Craft Mom. Congratulations, Craft Mom. And then this is the pedestal that I made to go with for it to sit on. <laughs> All right, congratulations, Craft Mom. Uh, you have won uh, this tray, a uh, cupcake tray. Um, it has two ones in it because uh, that's what I asked for on mine. So I'll leave those in there for you. But this is what I did with it. Let's see it all. So there's a lot of stuff you can do. So congratulations, Craft Mom. I will, if you send me the information, I will get it in out in the mail. Thank you. Get it out in the mail to you right away. Well, Monday. Oh, well, Tuesday. It's the holiday, so Tuesday. <laughs> well, that went faster than what I thought it would. So, um, Mary, you want to go ahead and give the code for the for the ten percent off in the store? Because I think I'm going to end class. It went really fast. Maybe I'll play around and make one more. <laughs> what do you think? Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this was fun. Okay, that's the code. So you can go in and get 10% off. Uh, anything in Gina's store. I know, I feel like it went so fast. to go fast. <laughs> Should I make one more, like a little boy one maybe, real quick? Who's whistling? That would be my son, Dylan, just walking by whistling. I have no control. He's, uh, he's 17. It's like they have their own mind when they're 17. <laughs> Yes, don't forget the blog hop. Um, Gina has this awesome, awesome 
gift set she's giving away of like tons and tons of um, her chipboard pieces. Like you'd have to go on, um, do you have the link handy, Mary? Auntie Mary? <laughs> For the uh, for Gina's blog, because you would have to start there and then follow. It's really easy. You just follow and collect the names, uh, word from each one of us, and each person on the design team is giving away a set as well of uh, chippies. So you can win off of each design team and do each design team member's blog, and then you can also win the giant set. It's really awesome. And we have the Facebook challenge is still going on. It's a birthday challenge. So if you want to join the Facebook, it's free. Um, all you have to do is ask to join. It's um, Gina's Designs Craft Group on Facebook. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, all you have to do is ask to join, and you can, you know, we'll, one of the admin will add you. You're working on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um, it's a... You win a ten dollar gift certificate for uh, Gina's Designs. If you are the winner, all you have to do is make a project um, that's birthday themed. It can be a card. It can be an ATC. Um, this is what I made. It's, uh, it's, that's me and my my aunt Trish. <laughs> That's what I made for the birthday theme, but it doesn't have to be that. You can just do the card or an ATC or, you know, a little gift bag. It can be anything birthday themed. And um, you can win a $10 gift card. So that buys a lot of chipboard. And I think that's, let me just go over, let's see if I got everything. Oh, the base I used on the cake stand again was a pedestal. It's not in Gina's store yet, but it will be. If you want one, you can ask. Um, they're really easy. It comes in three little pieces. So that's really cool. And, oh, my next class is not going to be on Ustream. It's going to be on uh, YouTube Live. So we don't have to deal with um, commercials or it's supposed to be a little easier. Anxious to use your birthday set. Yay. <laughs> That's what I used in this one. Um, the centerpiece, it's like the birthday set. The happy birthday, the balloons and the hat. The three I just cut out. Craft paper. So that's what I did with one of mine. So I think that's it, guys. So if you get a chance, go check out the blog hop or the challenge on the Facebook group. And um, Mary's added the links for you to go check those out for the YouTube and the Facebook and Gina's blog. <laughs> yes, Ma Craft Mom, you won. <laughs> Is it YouTube Live? Mm, I think it's just YouTube Live. Yeah, YouTube Live. <laughs> yeah, I just need your information, Craft Mom. Um, do you want to send me a PM? I'll uh, get it in the mail to you Tuesday. You won the one of these plain. That's what it looks like. So congratulations, Craft Mom. <laughs> all right. Got all kinds of birthday stuff here. <laughs> All right, guys, I am going to stop recording, and I think when I stop recording, it kind of turns me off. You watch recording? Cool. 
Yeah, and you can get the cutout for the um, the printable for the cake box on um, the craft group on Facebook. You can print it out right out onto the back of your cardstock. Cool. All right. Okay, ladies, I'll be back in two weeks, maybe sooner. I might do a couple practice runs on uh, YouTube Live because I've never done it. So I think I'll do a few practice, you know, just impromptu, maybe some journaling or something, just to practice. <laughs> All right. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for coming. Bye.